All right, so we just finished our 95% uh, perceived max for squatting today, one rep with wraps. Um, we got Porter here. He was having issues on the eccentric of getting the load into his glutes and his hamstrings, and then keeping that load there, transferring it, and getting it to his quads on the way up. So we got the monolift set up with a box. We're gonna have him doing box squats with a significant wider stance than what he was doing while he was squatting without the box. So I'm gonna have Porter set up under the bar, when he was doing the squat with the wraps, he had the bar really high up on his traps and he wasn't pushing back as much as he could. So because we want to get all of that in the glutes and the hamstrings, when we set him up under the bar, we're going to try and get him to get the bar lower on his back to start. So I'm going to have you set up under the bar. I want you to drive your feet into the floor and wedge your body up under that bar as hard as you can and press into the bar like you're about to stand up with it. So we have his feet significantly wider than when he was squatting with the wraps. So when you stand up with his bar, you are going to contract your glutes, inhale through your nose and stand up, finish your breath with your mouth. When you initiate your squat, you are gonna push your ass as far back as you can and keep reaching. Now twist out, stand up. So if you saw when he was going down to the box, he gave out. That is his hamstrings and his glutes saying, fuck this, we're not taking any more of it. So that's why we're gonna be doing wide stance box squats. When that happens, we are gonna lift the box up so he can practice on loading his glutes and his hamstrings and keeping that tension on the way down into the box and then firing off the box. All right, here we go. I know, that's what I told you before, Set up under the bar, drive your feet in, get that bar a little bit lower on your back, right there. Now drive your traps into the bar, press into it, breathe. Initiate, push back, twist. Go again, hips back, hips back, hips back, twist. One more, push back, back, twist. So we raise the box from a green pad to a blue. This one's still a little squishy. That gave us about two inches. He was able to control the weight going down and he was able to load his glutes and his hamstrings a lot more. For the next four weeks plus, until he gets this transferring really well, we're gonna stick with that on the cycle, which will transfer back, getting away from the box, into the straight bar and into his competition squat, and then his squat will progress from there.